New this morning, we have an inspiring story for you of a young man who's not letting an accident deter him from living out his dreams. Nearly two years ago, Jarrell Williams was in a terrifying crash that could have changed his future. But Jarrell's not letting that crash stop him from accomplishing his goals. 7 News Detroit reporter Ryan Marshall tells us how he's making it through his recovery with a smile. There are many words someone can use to describe 18-year-old Troy resident Jarrell Willis. Lively, exuberant, joyful, friendly, just to name a few. I'm always known as like the kid that's always like doing a little bit too much sometimes, always dancing around the hallways, singing. Krista Manfredi teaches theater and English at Troy Athens High School. She's also the Athens Theater Company director and producer, something she's been a part of for 51 years. Manfredi says Jarrell is one of the most unique people she's ever taught. I met him and I was just kind of like, you have to do a show with me, bud. So I didn't know the protocol for like how Athens theater worked. So I brought my resume and stuff, my headshot. Nobody else had in that. In high school? Yes. A resume and a headshot? Nobody else had that. <laughs> he had a gift. And Jarrell's parents, Jerome and Lena Willis, supported him every step of the way. His love for dancing and acting and modeling had me running here, running there to support him ever since, like, sixth or seventh grade. As his talent elevated, so did his performance opportunities. Jarrell began performing out of town. Then, on August 15th, 2022, while returning from a dance performance in Chicago, the unthinkable happens. Jarrell and several others were traveling in a vehicle on I-94 eastbound just outside of Kalamazoo when they were involved in a horrific crash with a semi-truck. Everyone miraculously survived, including Jarrell, but he lost the use of both legs and needed back surgery. I was in trauma for a minute, and to think that he was all the way in Kalamazoo and we were in Troy to get to him. And Jarrell is that kind, kind, loving person the hospital was calling me, but Jarrell called me and says, Mom, don't worry, I'm okay. And I had to spend about 10 days in Kalamazoo where the accident happened. And I spent like another two months doing like rehabilitation, all that stuff. We would have conversations and sometimes he would want to pray, sometimes he would want to cuss. Things were tough, but Jarrell took life's lemons and made lemonade. He began home-based classes while continuing rehab, determined to walk again. Jarrell eventually made enough progress to return to school his senior year, where he once again excelled in the classroom and on stage. Just days ago, Jarrell graduated with honors and gave the graduation class speech. We've managed to make it to this day, our high school graduation a day that we've been waiting for for over 12 years. We were at the honors program last week and I couldn't stop crying, but it was tears of joy because it could be another whole story. But alas, Jarrell's story continues onward and upward to college in pursuit of his dream. Definitely want to be on Broadway and film and stuff, but at the end of the day, I really want to use my talent to inspire other young people. Ryan Marshall, 7 News, Detroit, this morning. Well, he's doing that. Yeah, I interviewed Jarrell when he got his driver's license. Oh nice. Yeah, and him and his family.